let yourself in Show sure up, we won't remember this so a lot of people are wondering, you know, why why are you guys targeting pintail? Why are you banning pintail? For the California hunter, pintail are a pretty important bird. When you're out hunting, that's that's the bird you're gonna see quite a bit, you know, depending on the habitat. A lot of guys hunt the rice and you know they're kind of a rice country, rice habitat bird. The regulations right now you can only shoot one pintail. You know, it's kind of deceiving if you're in California because California winters about 35% of the actual continent's population. So your, your vision's kind of skewed. You see a lot of pintail, but continentally wide, their numbers are, are actually pretty low. You look out in this field and you see just thousands of pintail, and you're like, man, how hard could this rock and netting be? But most people don't realize that we have like a 120-foot section um, where there's two nets actually right next to each other. And you have to get these birds you know, within three to four feet of the edge of that net, or they'll have enough time to jump out and get away. So we know the potential here is pretty high, so we're not gonna shoot this net unless we get at least 100, 150 birds under it. It's just a matter of, of making it worth it. You know, we got a lot of people here to help and work, and um, if we shoot this net and blow them out, we're, we're not gonna get a big number. It's kind of funny how it changes the behavior because all of a sudden this big pile of bait shows up and they act real skittish around it. Go in there and they start feeding really hard, and it's almost like they know something's not right, and so they kind of spook out and push off, and. It's like they, they know it's not right, but they just can't resist it. start thinking about the amount of waterfowl that come to the area, what kind of numbers are we talking? Are we talking as many as any other state in the country? What, what kind of numbers of actual ducks and geese migrate to California? The documented numbers are about six and a half million uh, ducks and geese annually. in total annually, including the, the local birds and the migrating birds. It's about six and a half million at the height of the migration. So six and a half million rock is 90% of that specs now? Is this becoming a goose state? <laughs> <laughs> it sure feels, well, let's just say speckle bellies and pintail, you know, is, is, pintail. is mainly what we see, you know, and I think that in the flyways, we hold the majority of the pintail use the Pacific flyway. Significant. You know, with our telemetry tracking now All right. on them. A lot of the work in trying to determine future harvest regulations for pintail is taking place right here in California. They're hitting it pretty good. Let's see, man, we're getting close. We're losing water on this spot. Uh, Tomorrow they're pulling the boards on us, so we kind of ran out of time on this spot. So if we get uh, 80 birds on this net, we're probably going to shoot it off. Catch what we can catch before they're gone. I'd say if that outside group gets in there. Are those four or five or like 10 more? Yeah, like 10 more. We get about 10 more birds or so, we're going to shoot this net off. It's looking pretty decent. I'd get ready. some more positive uh, things out of the federal yeah. government. Um, it still may take a little bit of time, but I am getting more confident at the end of the day, we're gonna see that three bird bag. Well, we're so gonna see the three bird pintail. There. It'll just take yep. a couple years. We're gonna get one pintail in next year, we know that. 
Here's the positive part from my perspective is we have a great story as sportsmen to tell. I mean, particularly right. as it relates to all the funding that we provide for conservation. The other side, you know, likes to take liberty with the facts. We have hard, solid data on what we do, and you hard can't argue data. with that. The science is on our side for the Pacific Flyway. So this adult male pintail, we're gonna put a band on him. Oh, I already got a band on him. And we're gonna let him go. Backpack transmitters on, so we string them up with elastic and just tighten them down, super glue the knots. That way, we can basically these transmitters track their movements from location to go after nesting data so we can see how well they're nesting and where they're nesting. So, the more of these we get on, the better. So, we tuck it back behind the wings. Make sure they still have all their all their feathers out. Make sure the legs free and clear too underneath on the joint. We'll just wear it just like a backpack. Make sure everything's good. Get that solar panel clean. They charge up by solar, so we never have to worry about a battery dying as long as they stay in the sun. And then they ping off of cell towers. So that way, as long as they're in cell range, we can see where they're at and what they're doing. <laughs> 